Hey friends! So today I'm going to be shooting a video about how I take care of my hair. Out here in Korea, we have some pretty rough weather. It gets really hot and really humid. And on the flip side, it gets really dry and really cold. So right now we're in a really hot and humid time. So my hair is super fluffy, but also fried by the heat. Um, so today you're going to see me detangle and deep condition. And I won't lie, I haven't been doing my due diligence. I haven't combed my hair out in about two weeks. So this is gonna take some time. Don't worry, I'm gonna speed up the video through this. Uh, so sit back, relax, grab some snacks, and pray for me. So first, of course, I'm gonna take all this down. You can see it's quite a lot of matted hair. Um, it's really dry and it kind of smells because obviously I hate myself and I hate my hair. Uh, but don't worry, this is this will be fine. What I'm going to be using today is <laughs> good old water. Got to loosen up those curls as well as um, this Pantene Pro-V uh, leave-in detangling milk. I bought this on a recommendation one day and I just fell in love. This stuff is great for detangling my hair. Um, and to actually uh, deep condition, I also use the Pantene Pro-V Gold Collection Repairing Mask. Um, I'm also such a huge fan of this. This is actually a rebuy. This is the second time I bought this. Usually when I run out of a product, if I run out of a product, I just throw it away and never get it again or I don't even finish it because it's not that great. So I think that's, it's definitely saying something that I ran out of my first batch and I went out and got a second one. Um, I also have a couple uh, scrunchies of course, some alligator clips, and to actually detangle it, I'll be using a wide tooth comb. Um, after I detangle it, I usually just put it in some twists and sleep on it overnight, maybe even go to the gym in it, and then wash it out the next day and style it. So we're going to start detangling now. about an hour and 15 minutes all together um, I realized as I started doing it that the only reason it was going so quickly is because I forgot last week um, I did do a mild detangle like I didn't do a full detangle but I did detangle it some so that made this week much easier and as you guys saw I started running out of my favorite product um, so I have to get more of this because I also love that a lot too so I went to wash my hands so I can pick up my camera without getting it gross. So you guys can see my workstation and the aftermath of me uh, detangling my hair. Dun dun dun. Big old fur ball. There's hair everywhere. This is the reason why I only buy 
uh, pet vacuums. Get all his hair out. Um, so tomorrow I will be uh, washing it um, and styling it. So tonight I'm going to sleep on this and then you guys can see how I go about this tomorrow. Oh, fun fact though, uh, for anybody who does deep conditioning. Did you know you're supposed to put this on clean hair? Who will waste their time washing their hair, deep conditioning it, and then washing it again? It's waste of time, waste of time. But yeah, so tomorrow you guys will see what I do next. All right, so it's actually been about 24 hours since I put these twists in. I didn't mean to leave them in this long, but you know, life happens. Uh, so all day today I've been kind of rocking them down like this, but with my little satin line cap that I got from uh, Grace Lia, I don't, I don't really know how to pronounce that, but I love these little things. They actually stay on my head while I'm asleep and throughout the day, and they're kind of cute. Um, but now I'm gonna take these twists out and actually wash my hair. Then after that, since it's so late and my work week starts tomorrow, I'm just gonna be moisturizing my hair for how I will wear it to work tomorrow. <music> cute like this in this twist out well, it's almost impossible to duplicate hairstyles when you're a natural whatever when I wash and condition my hair I actually really like to use um, the Urban Bella brand non lather cleanser number seven um, it's more of a no poo because it doesn't lather or anything um, it has a little bit of menthol in it uh, so it feels really nice on my scalp I just really like how this makes my hair feel I've been using it for a couple years now on and off every now and then I'll switch to a new product and remember that I really like this one and come right back to it um, and I pair that with the Urban Bella uh, hydrating conditioner number four um, I'm not particularly picky about conditioners. Um, I never really have been. I think most of them do their job. Um, but I will say for me to not be picky, I think this one works pretty well. Um, I do like to pair products. So if I'm getting a brand's uh, shampoo, I'm gonna get their conditioner also. Okay, so my hair is all washed and conditioned and um, towel dried uh, I know I should be using like a microfiber towel but I have yet to find one big enough to actually be able to towel dry my hair so I do the worst and just use the same towel for my body if you can point me in the direction of a giant microfiber towel by all means drop it in the comment section below and I'll buy it you know my hair is raggedy out here so I would love to fix this all right, so the products I'm gonna be using to moisturize my hair are as follows. First, I'm gonna start with my leave-in conditioner, which is the Pravana Nevo Intense Leave-In Therapy. Um, pretty much the only place I've seen this is at Ulta or hair salons. Um, thankfully, while I'm out here in Korea, I've been able to get it on Amazon. I absolutely love this stuff so much. I don't even care that the price is jacked. On Amazon I buy it anyways um, and then to moisturize since this is just what I'm doing to keep my hair in a bun throughout the week I'm just gonna lightly moisturize with this Urban Bella hydrating moisturizing cream number 23 um, so I as you can tell I kind of really like Urban Bella products this is um, probably only the third time I'm using this cream I can't say yet if I like it or if I don't pretty much I feel like all moisturizing creams are the same so I have no loyalty to any one of them but with my last Urban Bella shampoo purchase I just went ahead and bought a whole range of their products um, and then to seal it all off I'm using this Carol's Daughters healthy hair butter um, I remember one of my friends told me she thought this would be too heavy for my hair because it comes out really thick, kind of like shaving cream, but it's actually really perfect for keeping my hair moisturized in this intense weather since I'm pretty much just leaving it in a bun for the whole week. And also somehow it keeps it so that my hair doesn't get uh, stuck in the bun 
look so like when I take it out the bun it's still like luscious and curly and I can you know just spray a little more leave-in in it and go on about my day after work without much help all right so I'm gonna get started you may be wondering why I'm not separating my hair into more sections so I can really get this on there instead of just continuing to pack this product on. That's because the more I separate my curls, the worse they look. Um, when you have hair this curly, you really want it to more bunch together than spread apart. Spread them apart is when your hair just gets all big and frizzy and ugly and um, like, the curls just, they lose, they lose their entire shape and definition once you start separating them. And it's not, it's not a good look. It's not a good look at all. And then, we got one last product here. Um, and that'll be the simple way that I moisturize my hair so that it lasts um, my work week. And that's the Carol's Daughters Healthy Hair Butter. So for this, I do divide my hair into four sections, but no more than four. One time I did divide it into more than four and my hair was so big, I couldn't get it into a ponytail or a bun for work. So I learned my lesson the hard way. I had to wash my hair all over and start all over again. That was annoying. I'm gonna start. You guys see what I meant about the texture? It's, it's, it's incredibly thick, but it spreads well and it's really soft. All right, and that's all there is to it. Um, so the way my hair is moisturized like this, I'll be able to quickly and easily pop it into a curly bun for work and um, it'll look good and it'll be moisturized for about four days of that without me having to re-moisturize it and um, I, I like the way that it looks when I take it out of the bun when I use this moisturizer specifically the Carol's Daughters product product um, and yeah I don't do a whole lot to my hair guys so I'm sorry if you thought this video would have some kind of huge secret to hair growth I don't have one I do the bare minimum <laughs> and as you can see even though it's been a full day and my hair's been in a messy bun all day my hair is still movable it's not crunchy it looks good it swings good it's moisturized um i attribute this wholly to the carol's daughters product it's amazing getting hair all whooshy 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 but yeah if you guys want to see any further videos like this or hair videos or see what I do when I'm not just about to start my work week with my hair, uh, leave a comment down below, below, like this video and subscribe, and I'll uh, see what I can do. <laughs>